It's been a while, but I have been super busy on holiday and working, would you believe? And I work like a dog, day and night. Well, I try not to work too hard, but you know, gotta pay the bills. So today was gonna discuss about film. More to the point, 35 mil. And the reason why is it's something that I have done very little of, I must have been doing photography in my entire career. I think mainly because digital is just easier for what I do, because I can see what I'm getting and I've got to show people pretty much straight away. But I actually really do like film. And although I don't know a great deal of it about it, even should I say, compared to some of my peers and, and other people I know who use it quite regular for like their own personal work, I really do think it still is the goat. And I think that's the, you know, the consensus of most people, whether you've used it or not, to be honest. I still like the fact that you don't know what you're gonna get until you get back and get them developed. I like the fact that, you know, you're sort of stuck on, you know, whatever you put in that film. So like that ISO, um, you know, whether it's like Portra, Kodak Gold or, or whatever it may be and you sort of just have to utilize it. And I actually think these days it's missed with digital photography, which I think, again, most people would agree with. And I did have a friend ages ago, he bought, I think it was a Leica, I can't remember now, but I'm pretty certain it was like one of the, the monochrome Leicas, Leicas, Leica. And his reasoning behind it I, it was quite an expensive camera from what I remember, but his reasoning behind it was that he liked the fact, he well, he preferred black and white photography and he wanted to shoot primarily in monochrome. And so he bought that model because it was a monochrome model. And so he was like, um, I suppose the words are purist. So, you know, that's it. There's no, it's going to be colour when you take it out in raw or whatever and then convert it. You shoot it, that's what you get. And I quite like that. And I think that's why, and I've said it in past videos, like when you should go out and just take one focal length. Like if, you, if, you know, if you've got prime, so just take a 35mm or take an 85 or whatever it is. Don't go take a 400mm, that's just mental. But yeah, t take a 35mm and just go and spend the day just shooting stuff and it will you know it will improve you and it's not just about that it's it's about getting that mindset of that's what you've got that's what you've got to use and you craft your skill and hone it around that so i quite like that so it's, it's an expensive way of doing it you know buying like a, a four or five grand camera to just go and shoot monochrome um as like a bit of a luxury buy and you know yeah, that, that's pretty mental. But I think that doing that is quite nice with film. I think, you know, you're sort of stuck. Um, and I think, unless you're like really invested and you've got lots of lenses and stuff, then most people normally like run and gun with film with like a 50 or a 35 mil. But I love that whole aesthetic, I like, that's why I don't like even in the digital photography, apart from sort of like high end commercial clients, I actually quite like, you know, the errors. It's, it is a bit dark or it is a bit overexposed. Um, I know you get like the light leaks and all that. I'm not talking about that, but I like that feel, that texture. I think it's quite important. I think we, we do lose that in digital photography and that's why obviously a lot of people sort of use filters or use programs where they can add grain or add light leak and things like that because it's still something which is looked upon as you know like the true form of the medium so it's something i want to get back into and what i have bought in actual fact as cringing as this is Yes, I just went and bought one of these, got some film. I'm gonna shoot that. Um, 
yeah so it's a bit of a bit of a cop out really but i have personally fond memories of going out when i was a bit younger we used to go out clubbing and a friend of ours used to always take like a you know a little kodak camera and still got those images i still look at them from time to time and i just think they're sort of although they weren't you know, we weren't stood there drunk in the nightclub. Oh, got to compose this properly. But it was just like snapshots. And there's like an honesty and a rawness of it, which you just can't get. And yeah, I, I know some of the images were just rubbish and they just didn't work, but there's some like absolute gold in there. And I still, even like my, my mum's old photography stash, she's got like bin liners full. And I remember when I was a kid going through those and going, oh, you know, show me this. And there'd be Uncle George or whatever it was. And I, I've looked, I haven't looked at them recently. The last time I did, there's absolute gold in there, you know, and you, you know, some of it is really sort of like bog standard stuff, you know, like as we did back in the day, you know, just stand there, smile. But there's some absolute gold in there because people, a lot of it was automated, so they would just click away. Um, at like, you know, when the kids are playing or something like that, something which is quite important, but because obviously they wouldn't bin off like 50 shots like we do now. They just take a shot, but it's like a snapshot, but they were like really good because you were just capturing just that spontaneity in, in that moment. And it was just far more interesting. And yes, a lot of them, were like manual focus and they or, or or in that sort of sense i mean like in that it's just wide and shoot it like f2 or whatever it is but it was just something which we lost and i think i've bought a stack of film just for that so i can just like do a bit of bts and stuff and like whatever it turns out to be like and whatever it comes out like i'm going to be happy because that's what i want i just want that feeling back which is something I don't get in my photography because it's I'm very bright saturated and polished so we just quite like that and one thing I do sort of base this on as well is the fact that I got sort of penalized by my better half for taking a picture of the kids and putting it on Facebook and they're saying oh well so and so looks he's pulling a funny face or, or whatever it may be and it's like but that's what he was doing that's how he is I, I don't want to take 50 shots and then you know copy a head in or something like that you know because that one he's smiling at. that's on the day they weren't listening they were messing about one of them's pulling a face and, and that's it I just took two shots and just pick one irrespective of whether they're brilliant or not it's just like well that's them that's what you're going to look back on and say, look at you there, Zach, you're a bit of a donut, weren't you? <laughs> and, and that's it. And I think, so with, with the film, I really still think that, that there's something there to be learned by everybody, at whatever level you're at. And even if you're not interested, and I'm not massively interested in getting really heavily involved in film at all, but I think like having that, quick Kodak camera I can change a film just change the batteries for the flash and just enjoy it I haven't invested loads it's cost whatever it was like a tenner or something and I think you just have a bit of fun with it and I think that's that's more key to what you know I want to do moving forward like just just get back to enjoying like you know I'll just take a picture of that it's a bit like you know your phone these days I think I used to begrudgingly look at people and go, oh, you know, I'd, I'd use my camera for that. And I still do to a certain extent. But I think, like, just take the shot. It doesn't matter. I don't, I'd, obviously, you won't get the same aesthetic on your phone. But I think just take the images. Just enjoy it. Get back to where we started. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. But it's not a rant. I think it's just a passion. And I think, I think we can all learn we can still learn from film and I think it's a great medium to be sort of back on so hopefully I'll start doing a bit more film not loads 
but just doing a bit just like when I can might show it if I've got enough because obviously I've taken one shot and I've had that for about a year <laughs> so but anyway I just think like I still really love the look of that and I still look at plenty of film these days more so than digital because I think it just inspires me more I hope it inspires you anyway and I'll see you next time